It's welcome to Let's Build a Computer. Yeah, it's uh, it's part of our new show. This is a gaming computer. It's a $500 bill. The type of gaming computer we are building will basically be a gaming computer with a CPU that doesn't use much power and it will be built on a mining motherboard so if cryptocurrency picks up well gaming can stop and mining can start so the motherboard that I already actually had in stock just sitting around is of course a pretty common one here in New Zealand it's uh, a 19 slot B250 and what are we putting in that? We're putting in a, uh, a cheap ass, <laughs> a cheap ass uh, i5. We haven't bought these other components. These have just come out of the garage. They're a bit dusty. Um, this is obviously a case and a case maybe would cost you in, in New Zealand. And a case would maybe cost you in New Zealand. I mean, this one at the time cost me a hundred dollars. Um, but you could get a cheaper case. Now, uh, what are we doing in regards to a graphics card for this? We are obviously going to use one of the Ethereum graphics cards, a GTX 1070. And we'll just put one in it. We won't be putting in, uh, we won't be putting in a 19. Um, so we've got a power supply here. Uh, this, this isn't a mining power supply, so this is a garbage power supply. Uh, it's 500 watts though, so that's plenty to support this computer. And by garbage, I mean it's just your standard power supply, so it's not super economical on power conversion. Safety first, right? Any static strap. Here's the motherboard. What's gonna go in here? So here we go, just using the uh, screwdriver, screw this in, put this power supply in here. Okay, so next we're doing the unboxing. Woo! Oh yeah! Beautiful! Okay, this is the i5. This is what we're going to be putting in there. So, uh, to install the i5, what you're looking for is the wee arrow here, and it's going to go in this corner here. We need to uh, get the get the fan cord plugged in. The fan is going to be coming over to here, right? And so it's obviously going to need to be uh, a little bit longer. You're going to have to unwrap a little bit. Here we go. So the plug's gonna go there. We'll uh, we'll put this bad boy right here. Right, are you guys ready? One, two, three. Push, push, push. And push. We are connected. I just want to give you guys a quick word about the RAM. What we're doing is actually just installing one stick of RAM. That's not recommended. It's recommended that you always insert, you know, two sticks of RAM. That way it can use both RAM at the same time. So this will be about 10 or 15% slower. Why we're doing this is because this computer is going to be under a lot of stress. This is an 8 big gigabyte stick and we're building it on a budget so I wasn't sure whether we needed 16 so what we're going to do is we're going to try it with 8 and then we can buy the other one now if we'd bought 4 gigabyte sticks then the problem being we've only got two slots on this motherboard so you know we, we really we, I'm thinking that the 8 gigabyte might work but it's about hard to tell because it's going to be running an emulator so it's going to be running an emulator, a game, and streaming all at the same time. 
8 gigabytes of RAM might really be pushing it. So I'm thinking that 16 is probably going to be recommended. Um, so this is why we're going to start with one, see how it works, and if it if it's not efficient enough, it's not good enough, then we'll upgrade it. Sorry about the beeping, that means the dishes are done. It has nothing to do with this build. So I've got the hard drive uh, we're going to install. It's just uh, a piece of junk I found in the garage. It's a 500 gigabyte. I've done some tests and I can't get it to switch on. And uh, I've got one of these. So this is a power supply tester and we'll check whether that power supply I got out of the garage actually even works. So I've just been uh, spending a few minutes uh, introducing the video back. It's the next day and I've realized well the mic wasn't on. That's all going to be useless. Um, what I had been saying is power supply didn't work. It was broken. Got a new one. It's a 600 watt gold. Gold is pretty good. Uh, for a hundred dollars it's definitely well recommended and uh, just gonna unbox it now this is the 92% uh, basically uh, so you're only losing 8% power if it was platinum uh, probably be about 94% so it's good they started uh, bronze which is only about 80% So, as you can probably tell, it's not modular. Uh, all the cables are just connected together. You don't get to choose what you plug into the power supply. But, as we said, the price, the price. We don't expect the luxuries at this price. Oh, look at that. They even included some uh, cable ties for, you know, the good computer professionals that have great cable management. So, uh, I guess we want to plug this in and test out whether it goes. Oh ha ha! Beautiful! Right, uh, so just one way in because you need this fan facing down. So it's fairly obvious where all these power plugs go. Um, looking for your ATX cord here. Just going to plug in there. Uh, this this motherboard actually has three ATX slots for three separate power supplies. I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, design things that are going on here. First of all, um, what we've got here is this is bent right i i've bent this deliberately so we can actually fit the graphics card in this is quite an old case so back then uh graphics cards were a bit smaller now uh we've got we've got this issue going on um <clears throat> this is actually the way the motherboard is designed and basically the motherboard is designed to use the graphics cards with only risers and I'm directly plugging the graphics card in because we're using this as a gaming PC. So this fits, this fits, but our graphics card goes here and this plug is not going to fit, okay? Because it gets in the way of the graphics card. It's too high. So what we need to do is basically take the pins out and plug them in so it's just the wires. Okay, so to get the pins out of the Molex cable, uh, basically all I used was, uh, wasn't actually this one, it was this one. Um, now, you could use anything you want. This is from a lock picking kit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can just grab uh, any kind of pin. Um, I know that people use staples, that kind of thing. And uh, basically what you're doing is you run it around the outside of the pin 
and it pushes those um, little spear bits back in so the cord pulls out. Now that we've got the cord pulled out and we've got the actual just the metal contacts in there so that, that the graphics card fits we need to put some insulating black tape over the top just so you know nothing shorts out. Okay guys, I think we're ready to give it a test and see what happens. So um, basically we've, we're just going to test it. It's, it's not completely wire managed set up, but we just need to see whether this is now running. So I'll just flick the power on. We'll have a look at the screen. The screen's just over here. That sounds good. Yeah, I've got my computer tester checking things out. How's the system going there, Pete? Uh, 60 FPS on high. 